in the I'm answering that question so the all game, year long. You so the game game wasn't moving, forward. And moving forward, the responsibility was transferred. And then so Matt Ryan had to make a play because that's why he gets paid $150 million. So he was supposed to make plays. But so, so every, after so after Matt Ryan everybody. Really, after Matt Ryan seen that Calvin really wasn't open, he had but two other paid guys the big boss to make the right calls. He had two other guys. You can that say that about Dak Carter. He gets paid to make the right calls. We exactly. can do this all day. Exactly. He gets but, paid to make the but, right calls. But what's Dirk Cutter's job? Play. Dirk Cutter's job is to call plays. Matt so Ryan. If, if, is, if is, Matt is, Ryan is didn't do his job, then Dirk Cutter didn't do his job. Dirt Cutter's job is to call plays. Matt Ryan's job is to is to enforce the plays. So there were two guys that were open. Was it the right? Matt Ryan threw to the guy that was double covered. So <clears> even <throat> if he didn't call a run play, the play could have been successful. They would have gotten three yards or more, and they definitely could have did that in that situation. They were in field goal range on first down. He should have done it. That's his fault. Can't put it on Dirt Cutter. He had a chance to make a play, and he didn't. Did did who called the play? <clears throat> Who called the play? Dirk Cutter called the play. Who threw the ball? We we have another oh, family. Right. Man here. Man. <laughs> I, I, I see you done got to this week's episode. <laughs> what to do, homie? <laughs> What's, What's up, up, What's up man? What, what, what y'all arguing about, man? Catch me up. What y'all arguing about? So basically, I'm saying that Dirk Cutter, it, everybody's trying to put the blame on Dirk Cutter for this loss. Everybody's just magically forgetting about these three interceptions that Matt Ryan thrown. And I'm saying that this wasn't Dirk Cutter's fault. So you're, you're basically saying that the second half play calling wasn't on Dirk Cutter. It was all on Matt Ryan. Like yes. That, that's what you, I mean, yeah. I, I can't really I'm, say. I'm, going I'm, in, just, but saying, I'm, I'm yeah. just. I can't really say on uh, hand for hand, you know, was it the play calling or was it the, uh, the player, but you know, Matt Ryan throwing three interceptions unacceptable. But we do know that Dirk Cutter is very predictable with his play calling as well. Yeah, so, so, so those interceptions that that those interceptions that Matt Ryan threw, like, was it a case? Now, where, no, you know, you trying to you know, you're trying to trap Antonio into it. No, I'm you not can't. To, bro, whenever, whenever <laughs> I ask you a question, whenever I ask you a question, I ask you a question what the truth is. Whenever I ask a question and we just determine what the truth is, that's not trapping. That's the truth becoming to light. That's not trapping. It's the, like, no, I ask you a question, the it truth is subjective. It's not be trapping anything. The, the truth is subjective. I, I mean, is it really? Did, did Matt Ryan throw three interceptions? Of course it is. Was there someone else that was open? Did As he play? As an offensive coordinator, if you call Who a play, the play? Get Dirt Cutter. So if there's as an offensive coordinator, if you call a play and there's people that are open, the offensive coordinator did his job. Simple and plain. Matt Ryan just made a bad throw. Oh, did he really? Yeah, he made three of them. He made three bad throws. So uh, w- w- what are we talking about again? Matt Ryan made a bad throw. Yeah, and Dirt Cutter been making bad calls all year. Yes, he has. Yeah, but he made game, bad calls all year, and that's why we. Sitting game, there. That's one of the main reasons why we sitting at three and or four and nine now. But this game isn't on dirt. This is this is what Matt Ryan. Matt Ryan threw in the double cover. He threw. He uh, threw yeah, out route to you is not throw it to the sideline. So, him throwing the double coverage, where there were two other people open, that was it. A that was it. A case that was Dirt Cutter's fault. Yeah, yeah, but he didn't. I do, I do not understand that line. Was actually going in. I do not understand I mean, that line. I mean, man, uh, it, it was just a second, a, a horrible second half by the Falcons, like, period. Um, but you kind of, you, I mean, you. Yeah, y'all both kind of, you know, right, because Dirk, like I said, he's very predictable. His routes are stale. Uh, everybody knows it's going to be, like, long shots. But, you know, Matt Ryan, three interceptions and a rookie only throwing one. So, at, at this point, would y'all say he got outplayed by a rookie? Mm. I don't know. I can't yeah. really see that. Yeah. 
I mean, like like you said, the offensive philosophy that San Diego normally do is they like to throw the ball deep. Justin yeah. Herbert likes to take shots. That's what his game is about. Mm-hmm. But it was the fact that they knew that this soft shell cover three was coming, so they was dumping the ball off and letting Austin Eckler goddamn run take the game over. And that's what I saw right there. Like, like you said, it was like – but running like at the end of the day, we can say about this. Like I said, Matt Ryan threw the three interceptions. Play calling in the fourth quarter was bad. Like I say, it, that that's that's pretty much done the deal. The, the whole offense just played bad in the second half in general. Can we all agree on that? Oh yeah, definitely, yeah. definitely. All all the way around. Like I said, Calvin really dropped a couple passes too. Like I said, every like I said it. It it just was a bad fourth quarter. So I definitely agree. I definitely and it's like this whole thing of like saying, uh, you know, I, I hate the whole idea of like quarterback duels. So people be like, oh, uh, which quarterback won? This quarterback or the other quarterback? But at the end of the day, you know, whenever Justin Herbert's out there playing a uh, quarterback, they're they're not eleven Matt Ryan's out there. And then when Matt Ryan's playing quarterback, there's not 11 Justin Herberts. They never on the field at the same time. But but I do think that all all over, all around, Justin Herbert played a better game against our defense than Matt Ryan played against their defense. Oh, well, let's get to this five dollar super chat right here by the MD20. He's at cutters plays take too long to develop. O line not big enough to protect that long. Ryan is getting put in bad situations. Yeah, I definitely agree. But Matt Ryan also getting paid thirty million dollars a year. So whenever that there are guys that can check down, he, he should check down. Whenever he threw that, whenever he threw that interception, he should have checked down. Whenever he was supposed to throw that out route, he's supposed to throw to the outside <laughs> shoulder, not the inside shoulder. And you know, we probably would have been talking about a Falcons victory right now. I mean, that's not dirt cutter. If you have an offensive coordinator that calls a game and you can score twenty seven to thirty points in the game. I mean, is it is it really the offensive coordinator's fault? I mean, how many points do you want the guy to score? Like he's not going to put up forty points a game. This game, I don't think he called that bad of a game. He made some questionable calls, but the loss isn't on Dirt Cutter. Let's remember what the question is: Does this loss belong to Dirt Cutter? This loss is Matt Ryan's fault. So you're putting them all on Matt Ryan? I, I know he made mistakes. I know he did. He did not have a good second half and. He did make some um, crucial, you know, bad throws, especially the one to Hayden Hurst. The dude was like right there waiting, you know, waiting on him to, to make that throw. And he, he he took a little bit too long to throw it, you know, yeah. and that's I mean, what ended up causing him being picked off. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's, it's like that that particular throw, it was zone coverage. Matt Ryan shouldn't yeah. have made – Matt Ryan shouldn't have thrown the ball. He should have read the coverage and not thrown it, but he did anyway. It's like – we know that at the end of the day, Matt Ryan's not going to go through every game and not throw interceptions. Like he had a bad game this game. I love Matt Ryan, my probably my favorite player of all time. He had a bad game, and this game was his loss. Like I definitely and look as a coach, I believe that losses everybody has everybody has something to do with the loss. But Matt Ryan had a huge part of a huge part to do with this loss. The throws that he made and the turnovers that he made, the three interceptions. They were predominantly his fault. 